Hi guys, welcome to Hey Life Part 8, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome to Soul Sync Chakra and welcome to your reading today. So this is going to be the final reading for 2020. Yay! So let's close this year with gratitude, release and let go of anything that doesn't serve us anymore and be open, receptive and positive to receive blessings for 2021 okay so we're going to take a look at what's happening for you in December leading up to 2021 with tarot I'm gonna pull a message for love and a relationship from the romance angel as usual and also a message advice from your ancestors and spirit guides okay a quick reminder that this is a general reading take what resonates and leave the rest but if you like a more personalized numerology reading then please check my email in the description box below all right thank you for your love and support thank you so much for joining me today uh, if you like this video please uh, like it share it and if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel I'll be very grateful for all of your support. So let's get started with the reading. Spirit guides, angels, please bless this reading and provide me with guidance. Thank you very much. So life part 8, let's see what's happening for you in December. Nine of Cups. Three of Wands. Four of Pentacles. So with the Nine of Cups, I can see that you guys are feeling very emotionally fulfilled. You are happy with what you have. Things have been going well for you. You know, you are pleased as punch. Even with the Three of Wands, uh, I sense that whatever you have invested in the past is progressing. Okay, you're waiting to reap the reward of your past effort. Some of you have uh, invested in business ventures overseas. You have formed uh, new alliances and partnerships and you are waiting for it to uh, move forward. Okay, and I feel like it is moving forward because you have the four of pentacles and I see that you will be making money but this money is something that you will not be uh, very eager to share or spend frivolously you're going to spend this money wisely invest it all right so let's uh, get a few more cards here Temperance. Two of Cups. Hierophant. And with the Temperance, I feel like you guys have been very patient with yourself. Okay, you have been patiently waiting uh, for your career for your business to move forward and it is progressing okay I sense that you uh, have been testing different approaches strategies and now you've come with a 
perfect balance. Okay, you know exactly how you need to move forward. All right. Some of you may even be in the health industry, like you work in hospitals. All right. You may be in the field of healing. But whatever it is, uh, your business or your career is uh, moving ahead as it should be. You've been feeling happy with how things are moving uh, ahead. Okay? Because look at this, you got the Two of Cups. And this tells me that uh, there is balance and harmony in your life right now. Okay, this is the career. This is uh, the job that you feel emotionally fulfilled. All right? You have struck a perfect balance here. If it is a business alliance, I see that uh, both of both the partners are on the same page. Okay, both of you have equal investment. Both of you have put in uh, equal energy and hard work into it. And now you're just saying how this is going to progress. All right. And for others of you, this is. Uh, your relationship like your partner is somebody that you see yourself in the future with okay this is progressing to a higher level of commitment with a higher fund some of you will even be uh, moving into commitment like a serious traditional commitment if not uh, if you do not believe in marriages then this is only going to be a strong solid commitment okay like in a traditional sense because I feel like this uh, union is blessed by the universe this was meant to happen all right there is a lot of love respect like both of you are on the same page you give in to each other you support each other okay there is love there is attraction there is balance here all right I can look at that there's uh, there's two two cups in both of these cards there's two of cups so you pour into each other's cup see like there is perfect balance symmetry and harmony here okay Okay, let's pull a few more. Uh, three of swords, seven of swords. Queen of wands. Hmm. With the three of swords and the seven of swords here, this tells me that there was a third party situation or there is a third party situation going on. Like somebody in this relationship has uh, been hiding secrets. They've been uh, lying, cheating behind your back. Okay. And you found about it, and this has caused you a lot of heartbreak. And uh, now you're in the process of healing. You're still healing and trying to bring your energies into balance here. Okay? Uh, this might not be for everybody, but uh, this message is coming strong here. That some of you have... A committed relationship okay this relationship brought to you a lot of happiness they you feel like they are your soulmate okay there was happiness fulfillment it was a strong commitment but 
somebody just uh, effed up. Yeah. Okay. I feel the lies and secrets uh, is what is uh, tearing you apart. With the Queen of Wands, I feel like this is you. This is your energy. This is the feminine here. Okay. So even if you are a male watching this, you could have the feminine energy. Alright. The energy is um, interchangeable. But you are somebody who is very strong. You are a creative uh, person with who has a very busy life. You're always on the go, you're doing things, um, you know, you're very outgoing, you have a sunny personality, but uh, this recent heartbreak has uh, just crushed you, okay? So in the next coming up days or weeks, I see that uh, you may want to travel overseas somewhere just to clear your head, clear your heart. You, know, you just want to get away somewhere. But I also see that you will be holding back your feelings, emotions. Like you're just not in the mood to share, you know, you just want to, yeah, I just feel like you want to get away somewhere. Hmm. So you got page of cups in the bottom of the deck. I feel like there will be a message coming through. I feel like your person, you know, they are also holding back, but they want to send a message to you because they still have feelings for you okay yes yeah, so overall sense that you are made for each other that you're each other's um, soulmate right but uh, this recent betrayal has just caused you a lot of uh, stress and grief okay so you're gonna have to decide what you uh, plan to do next because there is and there will be a message coming in for you from your person okay maybe they want to up apologize to you but a sense that they do not want to let you go all right, I just want to clarify this reading with uh, Lenormand. Ring Ki Sun. This is a significant positive uh, contract or uh, commitment here. Bird, mice, child. A lot of noise, gossip, chatter, 
taking away, eroding, uh, a new beginning. So there must have been some uh, gossip about uh, this uh, this uh, commitment, uh, this relationship that you have, okay? Some of you even have children or a child. Coffin tree hard ending of a long-term relationship all right so overall I see that uh, you know, it was like I said it was a very committed relationship a long-term happy relationship but the third party situation uh, happened and it uh, ended with a heartbreak okay so you might also have people around you who talked about it uh, or even you know gossiped about it okay but moving on I see that there is an opportunity for a new beginning a fresh new start that's going to be positive for you actually but it's all going to depend on what you want but with the sun child and heart I see that there is going to be an opportunity for you to have a new beginning at love maybe with this person or with a new person but it's with the child here, I definitely sense a new beginning or a new person here. Okay? I feel like some of you will be leaving behind, uh, cutting, uh, cutting ties with the past and moving on. So the ring and nine of cups, this tells me that it was a very happy union okay it was a happy union it was an important partnership that was heading in the right direction like it, there was growth here a positive successful relationship although one of you uh, had control issues or pos was possessive here okay And the temperance and the birds, this tells me that uh, I sense that you may have found about this uh, online, through social media. I feel like you didn't see this coming and when you found out, it was like a big wake-up call for you. In two of cups and mice, this... Uh, this tells me that the relationship has uh, been slowly uh, disintegrating okay ever since uh, you found out about it the love uh, that you shared with this person is uh, like crumbling you know something is taken away from it And the Hierophant and the child, it was, uh, I'm getting that uh, the masculine in this relationship uh, could have been a bit uh, selfish, okay, who only looks out for their needs. All right. But also somebody who... Mm, who is very set in their ways they want to get things done in their own way all right they can be also very conservative and fixed in their beliefs 
okay and the coffin and the three of heart uh, three of swords well this is clear that uh, this is the ending of a relationship okay seven of swords and the tree the tree uh, is something that is healthy and long lasting that has strong roots but the seven of swords is uh, betrayal lies in deceit so this lies and betrayal has taken away from this long lasting uh, relationship okay although it was a strong and a happy one but now uh, they not but now it's uh, over all right and the queen of wands and the heart i feel like this is you i know you i feel like you still love this person okay but now you have to make a very strong decision all right so let's uh, get an advice from the romance angel regarding the situation here wedding this situation involves marriage let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally codependency addictions affecting your romantic life It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So it's clear that this uh message is about your commitment, your relationship the person that you've been married to okay and i feel like with the codependency and let go of control issues like i said one of you have control issues the angels and your spirit guides are saying that you need to just let go of this have uh, faith in the universe all right uh, they are saying like take time to be on your own for now okay maybe it's time for you to disconnect with uh with the people around you and just be on your own take the time to heal yourself okay but all is not over it is still safe for you to love okay but just that you need to uh, but it's just that you need to heal your heart first you need to take care of yourself All right. So I definitely sense that there has been uh some kind of uh addiction in your uh marriage. I feel like it was a very strong and solid um commitment which was built on a strong foundation. but either an addiction or a third party situation caused this uh uh breakdown in this commitment okay because you have this mice in the center of the reading and this mice always talks about taking away so something um i'm deeply sensing an addiction here if not uh if not a third, if not another person in your life i feel like it is more to do with your person's mm, s- 
secrets that uh, that created this uh, downfall okay this does not have this does not have to be a third party situation but I definitely sense that there was lies and uh, betrayal All right so addictions can mean anything substance abuse uh, keeping uh, secrets being controlling and manipulative so there are a lot of variables in this okay just take what resonates and leave the rest all right so life path eight that was a pretty intense reading i would just like to get a final message for you from your ancestors and your spirit guides Guardians of the Four Corners, Mother in the Earth, Father in the Sky, Angels, Ancestors, Sacred Forms, I call on you and welcome you here and now. Heart Guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Heart Guardian, and she is an angel who... Uh, provides healing and protection. She helps you in all kinds of relationship with, uh, with your family, with your friends, with your romantic partner. And getting this card in this reading means that this message is for you to heal your uh, romantic partnership, your relationship, your marriage. Okay? So if you have a problem trusting your partner, then you, you can trust you and call upon the angels to help you and to guide you on what to do, okay? This angel will help you to move beyond any limiting fears uh, about trust, will help you to discern whom to trust and understand how you can move forward uh, in a balanced relationship with your person okay I sense that you um, are faced with a challenging situation in your marriage in your love life but your angels are saying that you are a person who has so much love to give and also you deserve so much love okay but they're saying that you need to reach out to others, ask for help, ask for support where, when it's needed, where it's needed. Like, don't do it all by yourself. Okay? So receiving this card, um, this tells me that you are attracting, you're manifesting powerful energies from your spirit guides, from your angels, who will help you to form a powerful connection in your relationship if you want it all right I sense that some of you will begin a new relationship and some of you will heal all patterns in your relationship whatever it is there's going to be a positive new beginning in your love okay with the sun the child and the heart here and as well as you got this uh, heart guardian this definitely confirms that there is going to be a new energy in your um, love life okay so life path 8 i hope this resonated with you if it did please give it a thumbs up thank you so much for your time thank you for being with me and i hope to see you soon again Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Namaste.